Yep, I did. Hey, it's time to look at another complete ready to run train set by Bachman. This is the Rail Chief. It features a Burlington Northern Santa Fe train um, with a very atypical caboose that you don't really see that much, but it is complete ready to run. It has a 47 by 30 eight inch track easy track that's easy to assemble has a locomotive three freight cars and the caboose plus it's also got these ho scale accessories unpainted uh, minifigures signs and whatnot now the retail price at hobby lobby where i got this is 180 dollars which is way overpriced uh, as always with hobby lobby you can as always with hobby lobby you can also get a regular price item at 40% off, which is usually the way I buy uh, either train sets if it's something I really want. But even at 40% off, this thing was well over, what, $100? I guess it's over $100. But they have it on clearance, and they have plenty more of these. I went to three different Hobby Lobbies, and they had them at all three. And it was $64.79. Now, that is a very reasonable price for a complete working uh, Bachman train set. So I'm going to open it up. I don't really, um, personally, I'm not a big fan of the Bachman accessories. And Bachman is kind of on the, um, it's not the high-end trains, but it's not the low, low end either. I think it's, I think it's better than lifelike, uh, the toy grade lifelike trains, but not as good as another lifelike or Walter's. A product the proto 2000 those are obviously much better but this is a great easy to set up train for beginners which is what is very appealing about it so for instance even taking it out of the box is relatively easy they got all the train cars right there nothing under there and then this other side has the track and the accessories so it does have and it's hard to know all the pictures show the black, which is the lower grade. I like the gray track. It's the kind that won't rust as easy. Um, yeah, the the black is the low, if you always if you're looking at Bachman track, the black is the lower grade. It's like the steel alloy or whatever it is. It's 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 going to have to be cleaned at some point. This track right here doesn't need a lot of cleaning. It does good over time. So, but you can never tell. I mean, some of the sets. They'll show the black track on the box, but it'll have the, the gray roadbed inside. But this one had the black. All right, so I'll set this up uh, as far as the track, and then I'll just show you um, the accessories. <laughs> So again, Bachman track is super simple to set up. This here plugs right into the re-railer, which in turn plugs into this. This one does not have an accessory. This is a smaller rated transformer than those that I've received in others. Uh, so it does not have an accessories output. It just has for the track. That's a little different. So this is the transformer I'm used to. This one is the one that came with this one. It's got uh, still 1,000 milliamps, 16 volts output DC. So it's the same output. But man, this one's heavy. This one's light. Maybe this is an upgrade from all these heavy ones. All right, so I got the transformer plugged in. Real easy to do. It's ready to go. Now we need to do is put the train on it. And pretty much once you take it out of this box, I don't know. It, I guess you can put it back in. There's our Burlington Northern boxcar. I like the old Burlington Northern green, but uh, that's a little different look with this black, or yellow and black, I should say. I said black because I'm looking at this black um, Wisconsin Central hopper car with coal load in it. We have a Canadian National Gondola. There's another car. Uh-oh. And we have the, this Kabusi Now 
let's put the locomotive on there. All right, so lastly with the locomotive, it's usually good to grab it by the plastic that's around it. I'll probably still break it. Oh, come on. Yep, I did. So, yeah, you know me. Uh, I'm always showing you how not to do things. So I'm going to put it on this way. I'm always breaking these handrails. <laughs> this thing actually looks pretty nice. All right. Let's drive it around and pick up the car. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Go the other way. Switch the direction. I'm going to go over there. It should couple up without me having to touch it with my hands. Let's see if it does. Oh, it did not. Come on. Whoops. Maybe do better on the straight section. Just pull it back. I want this to hook up without me having to touch it. And it's not going to do it. Now it's hooked. <laughs> oh, and then we lost the box card. Wonderful. You're supposed to be showing everybody how easy this is. It's not as easy as, it, as I think. There we go. Now we got it. You're right. And it is set up. The only thing left to do now is hook up the accessories. I just think that locomotive looks pretty sharp. What do you think? So I'm not going to go too much into the um, all the accessories. They're unpainted, so you basically got a bunch of pink people and you got tons of people here like over 20 they even got little kids but I'm not going to be painting these anytime soon and then you got the little I don't know the communication lines these are what you used to see back in the day on the side of the railroad tracks had their radio not radio or whatever they used to communicate uh, they're like telephone poles and then you got these street signs that are yellow. Everything's yellow. So it's like the wrong color. Some of it would be yellow, but I don't think everything should be yellow. Um, and then the bridge. Ah, oh, Plasticville Bridge. Which I think we built one of these in a previous video. I really don't want to build it. It does require cement. I'm not much of a kit builder. <laughs> so this locomotive here is a EMD GP40. It's got the number 3001. That's the same number as a 2x4 Lego brick, by the way. Um, has the knuckle couplers there on the front. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it's got the BNSF paint scheme. The, it's more of a black, orange, and uh, yellow there. Oh, and there's the Wisconsin Central. Uh, quad hopper and we lost the rest of the train there I'm sure that could become annoying if it keeps separating like that oh, it separated again that was annoying try it again oh come on I wanted to do it without me touching it uh, these uh, couplers are just finicky There we go. All right, let's go forward and look at the box card. It's the Western Fruit Express Array, being FE <laughs> instead of BNSF, and because FE, you know, Santa Fe. We got the CN, the Canadian National, and then this caboose. Do they even ever have a caboose like this? Is this? I mean, it's, it's an off-center caboose, but I don't know. I don't know if they, they have one in this paint scheme. Maybe they do. So that's a quick look at the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Rail Chief train set by Bachman. We picked this up at Hobby Lobby uh, on a good deal. 
and I just wanted to show it to you. Sorry I didn't build the kit, uh, the, uh, the, bri the signal bridge, or set up the um, minifigures, minifigures, the, the people and the signs and stuff, but it's, that's just not important to me. I, I care more about the actual locomotive and the cars, not even so much the track. <laughs> But I think this is a good deal at $65 at Hobby Lobby. Um, so if you want to pick one up for yourself, for your kids, uh, this is a little more durable than the N-Scale versions. Um, this is an N-Scale set there. Uh, kind of like the HO. HO scale is my favorite scale, but N-Scale is great because it fits in small places. Hey, look, I got everything running all at once. Three trains. <laughs> Uh oh, we lost we lost part of Captain Kirk's train. Uh oh, those couplers. That's Bachman for you. Everything on here is Bachman. The Star Trek train, the N scale train, and of course the one we just opened up. Hate those couplers. Oh, did it again. See which one will uncouple first. Dag nabbit. Thank you.